Guess what? I got my motherfucking fortune teller hat on. Boy, y'all better start listening to me. Y'all better start listening to me. You better start listening to me, man. What? what? I'm like Nostradamus. The shit that I tell you always come to fruition. It always come to light. It's like GE, man. It always come to motherfucking light. I told you. Look here, man. I'm going to let you know a little secret. My little buddy, he is a Stephen Curry fan, right? Why today he sent me the clip of what is his wife? I don't even. Aisha Curry. Aisha Curry. I think that's her name. Okay, Aisha Curry. All right, check this out. Okay, so he's a Stephen Curry fan. He loved the three ball. He loved all that shit, right? So back a while, maybe, I don't know how long ago. I can't even think about it. But sometime back, he sent me something where she said that she loved attention from other guys. Guess what I told him? I said, hey, man, let me explain something to you. It's trouble on debt. Whenever you have a woman that needs attention, that wants attention, that go out of her way to get attention, you got a goddamn problem, my friend. You got a motherfucker problem. And here's what I told my buddy. I said, hey, look, dude. I say, look, dude, you better motherfucking, you better start getting ready. It's some shit getting ready to happen. It's some shit getting ready to pop off. Hey, man, look here, dude. So he sent me the thing today stating that uh, I guess they have an open marriage or whatever. But let me let you in. Look, allow me to think for Aisha out loud, if I may. Okay, here's what it is. Steph didn't ask for this shit. I guarantee you he didn't ask for this shit. She probably asked for this shit, right? And the reason why she asked for it is because she's bored with you. She's She needs some excitement in her life. She's probably, man, when they showed me that picture of her at home twerking, when she was cooking, then she was twerking somewhere else. I said, that's not motherly. That's not a motherly dance right there. You got goddamn kids. You should not be doing... Now, I can see if you was like maybe at the club with your girlfriends or something like that, then you could twerk, twerk on. Twerk on. We gonna smack that ass. Twerk on. You know what I'm saying? But at your house, I mean, you could twerk in the convenience of your home, man. But man, look, I'm gonna tell you what my mama used to tell me. It isn't what you do. It's how you do it. I'm gonna repeat that one more time for the slow people in the room. It isn't what you do. It is how you do it, okay? And, you know, when I saw that, I said, man, you know, yeah, she like attention. She really is about what she says she about. She says she like attention from other guys. Still, the light bulb should have went on his motherfucking head then. It should have been like, I got trouble. I don't give a fuck if y'all been, been goddamn, I don't give a fuck if y'all were five years old and grew up together. When a woman put that shit out there in the motherfucking atmosphere, man, it's trouble falling behind them words. It's trouble. And I guarantee you, I bet you, I bet you, he didn't ask for that shit. So you know what we going to call open marriages now? We going to call that Will and Jaden. You, you, you hear me? So we going to call it Jada Pickett and Will Smith. We going to call it Will and Jaden when you motherfucking got it, got an open marriage now. Because see, here's my thing, man. When she says she want that open marriage, man, I guarantee you Steph didn't say it. I guarantee you he didn't say it. That was her motherfucking idea. And here's the thing about it. She's probably already been uh, uh, putting out applications for suitors. So you don't know if she's already did it and now bring it to your attention because she found the right one. But let me tell you something, man. This is why Steph need to go ahead and award her back to the streets. Like, hey, hey, baby, bitch, you got to go. You got to go because it's like this, man. She want the security of your money and your lifestyle, but she want to bounce on somebody else's dick in the meanwhile. So you got to let her go, man. Cut your motherfucking losses. Count your blessings. Let her go. She probably picked that shit up from your goddamn mama. You know what I'm saying? She probably picked that shit up from your motherfucking mama. I guarantee you she probably picked it up from your motherfucking mama. Or she picked up a little tidbit here and there from your mama, man. But I told my homeboy back then, I said, look, dude, she's going to wind up fucking around on him. She's going to wind up fucking around on him. And maybe she have it. But it's on debt. 
Look, it's on deck. They do it. Motherfucker, motherfucker warming up on deck. I'm up next, goddammit. You hear me? She's warming up. The, the key is in the ignition for the car to crank up to go to Cheatville. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, what's the difference? Motherfucker saying open marriage, what the well, goddamn, why we even need to be married then? Why we even need to get the state involved in our goddamn affairs and business? We don't even need to be married. We just need to be motherfucking friends and life partners and shit. You get mad at me, get your shit, get the fuck out. I get mad at you, I'm going to put your ass the fuck out. You dig what I'm saying? That's just what it should have been and that's just what it need to be. But what he need to do right now, sever ties. You got to cut that umbilical cord and get that baby gone. You got to sever ties, man, with this chick. You got to say, because she's already told you, man, here's what's going to happen. Somebody going to fuck around and drop that sailor anchor in that pussy. Bloosh. Have you ever dropped a brick into a water and heard that shit, the sound they make? Bloosh, cloosh. They're going to drop that sailor anchor in that motherfucking ass, make a toes curl. They're going to go into that room. Ain't nobody ever been in. That stuff ain't been in. They're going to go into that room. They're going to, here's what they're going to do. They're going to fuck the dog shit out of her. You hear me? They're going to fuck the dog shit out of her. You hear me? They're going to fuck her good. They're going to fuck her right. They're going to fuck the dog shit out of her. And she's going to go, she's going to come back to you and tell you, I don't want to be married no more. I found the one. <laughs> I found the one Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't want to be married no more. That's what's going to happen, man. So right now, the only thing you got to do, man, is cut your ties, cut your losses, and get the fuck out of Dodge or get her the fuck out of Dodge. I told my homeboy, I said, dog, look, she going to fuck around and do it to him. And guess what? Coming true. It's coming true. You don't believe me? Watch. It's coming true. This your boy. Pound it. I'm out of here, man. Later. Y'all have a good one.